And our word for today, at a special time today, as so that we can have our beloved Father Mark Davis on the air with us, our word for today on this, mo- this Monday, September the 23rd, the memorial of St. Padre Pio. Our word for today, shine, and here to talk about it is Father Mark Davis. Father, thanks for joining us. I know you've got Mass at 845, so you're coming on with us a little bit early. Hi, Father. Hi, Ron. Hi, Dave. How are you guys? Doing great. great. How are you? Good. I am so happy to be with you. Thank you for taking me at a special time. How was your weekend? Fantastic. How about Eileen's birthday was Saturday, so we spent the weekend celebrating her birthday. Aw. Yep. So you could let the, the, the love shine forth. Yeah, I, she made her wish, you know, as you're as you're apt to do. Blew out the candles, opened her eyes, and she said, "Oh, you're still here. My wish didn't come true." Uh, but anyway, <laughs> oh, it was still fun. It was yeah, fabulous. She did <laughs> no, she that. did not she did do that. Not I'm do just that. kidding. <laughs> <laughs> well, this good. Well, this word is shine, and it's interesting. The gospel, you know, is don't put your, your the, you know, don't put the light under a bushel basket. Yeah. But but the word actually comes. From the the, the um, Alleluia verse, you know the gospel acclamation, "Let your light shine forth." Yep. So there was a burglar who broke into a house one night. Now he shined his flashlight all around, looking for something valuable to steal. And in the dark, out of nowhere, he heard this voice: "Jesus is watching." Now he nearly jumped out of his skin. And he clicked his flashlight off, and he froze for a couple moments. When he heard nothing, he shook his head and continued. You know, and he was pulling out the stereo so he could disconnect the wires to steal it. And clear as a bell, he heard, Jesus is watching. Now, this time, startled, he shines his light all around frantically, looking for the voice. Now, finally, in the corner of the room... He's shining this light, and the beam came to rest on a parrot. Mm. Jesus is watching. Jesus is watching. And the burglar hissed, did you say that? Jesus is watching. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Warn you, warn you, warn you. And the burglar relaxed and said, warn me, huh? Who in the world are you? My My name is Moses. My name is Moses. Moses, the burglar left, what kind of crazy people would name a bird Moses? My name is Moses. The same people who named their pit bull Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus is watching. Yeah. <laughs> hey, that's good. <laughs> Very nicely done, Father. Now I know why you didn't want me to tell that one. I would have messed it up. <laughs> well, that's an oldie but a goodie. Mm-hmm. Um, so what does it mean? I mean, it begs the question, what does it mean to shine one's light? I mean, the even the image that Jesus uses is so different, you know, than in our world we had the gift of electricity, you know, and, and all kinds of lights, you know, in, uh, you know in, in our houses, in our buildings, in our churches, but this idea that, you know, you put a candle pretty much, you know, someplace in the house that's high. So even dim light at night can just kind of scatter. I mean, it's crazy. I think I read once that one little candle flame or little piece of light can be seen for like three miles. Mm. It's amazing mm-hmm. how, how strong that is. And obviously we kind of know that Jesus is referring to our spirit, right? You know, God's living spirit living in each one of us of love to be able to shine it forth. And I'm thinking, what does it mean to let our light shine? And and I'm thinking about how there are some people in our lives that when we first meet them, you know, people are usually kind of guarded. And then you think, my gosh, you know, when that person who is my friend who are, who are as, or is in my small faith sharing group or in my Bible study, when I first met them, 
you know, their spirit was, was just dark or just kind of closed, you know, but as I got to know them and they're sharing, oh my gosh, the love and the warmth of this person and our connection is amazing mm. and amazingly bright. And then, you know, it just makes me think, what does it mean for us to treat people in a way that they can relax and trust us and let their light shine? You know, being able to share their experience of God. What is it like for us to be able to move from a place of fear, you know, to a place that we, you know, are courageous enough to ask people if they need help? What is bothering you today? How can I help you? And I think if you really understand scriptures and how God is in our life, that one of the biggest things keeping us from shining our light is fear. Mm. One of my favorite prayers that has been given to me in the last year is, God, please heal my fear-based thoughts. Mm. Lord, please heal my fear-based thoughts. So often, we have such fear-based thoughts that it keeps us from shining our light and good things that God wants to give us to coming our way. So as we begin this week, let's remember you, know, Jesus, the pit bull, and let us ask the Lord to please heal our fear-based thoughts so we can shine our light to all in the world today. Hey, God bless man, you. Have beautiful. a good week. Thank, Thank you, you very much, Father. Wow, I love that.